at 2.47 in the morning on May 3rd, 2019, I wrote this dream. At a party, this is the situation moves from home to home. It's a party. I think I get asked to perform with this band. I don't know the band or the songs, and I haven't played guitar in a year or so, but I agree for fun. But then everything shuts down. One guy in the band has or decides to go to another engagement. So there's a play on the word engagement here, as in engage to get married or another engagement, like another appointment, another, you know, engagement. I think I end up going with another person to another location or party. I'm thinking about sex, not about having sex with someone. Uh, somehow it's something... I don't know if any of these people, I don't know any of these people, but maybe I kind of know at least one of them. I don't know. Um, it looks like I didn't finish writing this sentence here. Looks like I wrote somehow it's something. I don't know any of these people, <clears throat> but maybe I kind of like at least one of them. Not romantically, but they are likable. At the next situation, I forget there was so much back and forth. Oh, I forget. There was so much back and forth. The thing about sex, like, oh, would it be safe ever, like with a condom or whatever? It seems unsafe no matter what. That's right. There's no, like, no way to have any kind of safe sex. At some point, a big car drives by. I think maybe they are people related to this group, but they are police officers with a bunch of people in back, and they want to know if we know any of them, or do they know any of us. One of the guys in the back recognizes one of the guys I am there with, and that guy admits he knows the guy in the car, but it's not because they are associates. It's because the guy I'm with works for a music store, so he runs into a lot of people, especially musicians. At this point, Chris wakes up next to me and makes a noise. So um, now, in real life, Chris wakes up and makes a noise, like, huh? And I say out loud, he's telling the truth, or he has to tell the truth. And I'm talking about the guy in the dream admitting that he knows the guy in the car from his job at the music store. Chris then asked for clarification, and I realized I was dreaming, so it was like I was trying to, you know, one of those things where you <clears throat> are woken from a dream and you talk as if the, you know, you're explaining something from the dream as if it's real. Throughout this dream, it feels like there's a play on engagement and engagement. Someone is actually getting engaged, and people leave the party or parties to go to another engagement. Sense of grapes or a grape arbor. Sense of Courtney Love. Like she is somehow related to why I haven't played guitar in a year. Not sure that it's anything she's done, but it is related to her in some way. I didn't feel this during the dream, but I feel it now. It might not be Courtney, but Roz Rezebeck. So I've been saying <clears throat> and been believing that Roz Rezebeck is a friend of mine. But... um. At this point, if anybody's not honest with me anymore, and if anybody's not honest about me anymore, I don't consider them a friend. And there's some type of link between Roz and um, a lot of deception, uh, fraud that's happened to me. Basically through, uh, well, I don't know, probably through a lot of systems, probably through the music business, the medical industry, and... Um, the attorney that he linked me up with. Um, it's becoming really clear that Courtney Love is a type of architect or has been a type, type of architect in this game. Um, Courtney's links to Roz um, are not probably exactly as they've been presented. So Roz has been presented as an ex-boyfriend of Courtney from Portland, which... I'm not saying that isn't true, 
but um, I think that their links are beyond that. And one one point of evidence for that is the fact that they seem to have, at least according to him, they've stayed in touch on and off or consistently. And it's not just Courtney. He's been in touch with, he's, he has links to other people that you wouldn't expect him to have links to. Um, and he was in this movie called Kurt and Courtney interviewed and all this stuff. And um, what he told me was that that, whole thing was a performance that she knew about it. They were kind of in on it together. So um, I have to probably come back to Roz because, <clears throat> you know, um, I've been trying to keep the people that I feel like are my friends near me. But at the time when I was first breaking this stuff down and I was first discovering the kind of deception that was going on around, um, Roz posted a picture on his Facebook page that I f couldn't figure out if he was trying to be helpful or threatening me and um, I you know when you like somebody and when you're friends with somebody you tend to want to believe the best of them but um, I don't think Roz is really my friend in a real sense and as far as Courtney goes I'm not I'm, I'm actually not sure I've kind of um Because she's been so badly slammed and slandered, I have not been critical of her, and I'm not really intending to be critical of her. Um, but she definitely has been involved in machina machinations and um, manipulations and things like that. And so sometimes people are forced into situations, I guess, based on their links with other people. I don't know. But there's definitely something going on here. Okay, there's something going on here. So somehow this very bizarre scene that's affected my ability to play guitar is linked to Courtney. And anybody that basically keeps me from doing what I'm, it's obviously what I'm supposed to do, has been. So anybody that keeps me from that, especially if they're getting benefit from it, they're not my friend. Sudden feelings about Roz, who was not in the dream. Lately on Facebook, posting about his links to meet or meetings with people like Joan Jett, etc., how he introduced me to the attorney Peter Shaver, maintains friendships with people who were involved in problematic behaviors, um, thinking about Bowie's album, Black Star, using the phrase Roz Shop, which, you know, apparently has some other meaning, but, you know, it does and it doesn't. Um, that song is called think girl loves me or girl likes me or something like that. I close my eyes and I see image of little clouds, smeary sky, like what I call the smeary sky, or is that, um, I think it's those jet trails kind of smearing out behind all these homes with satellite dishes. Yes, there's tons of homes in Portland with satellite dishes. In fact, I would say increasing number, and if unless I'm just noticing them now, but um, I'm it appears to me that there's an increasing number of homes in Portland with satellite dishes. Three twelve. What was this one say? So this one was two forty-seven. Okay, so it's about half an hour, less than half an hour. I'm in the back of a store. So after writing this down, I mean, I must have barely, because, you know, it must have took me a few minutes to write this dream down, fall asleep in 312. I'm writing, I'm in the back of a store. Seems like Freddy's garden area. So that's the, you know, Fred Meyer's on Gleason, their back garden area. It's almost like I'm doing a stick up. Not with a gun, but somehow announcing I'll be leaving with these. Um, what I have are these flat stepping stone like rocks wrapped in foam padding. In the back area is all these piles of river rocks, river, river tumbled sandstone pebbles and piles everywhere. Vision of herringbone. Like that. 